Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1992 and 1996 to listen to Conquest of Paradise and Song of the Seas by the amazing Vangelis. Really excited to get into more Vangelis. I love his grand, dramatic, ethereal, beautiful orchestral and keyboard compositions. Uh, we'll start with Conquest of Paradise. It's from Ridley Scott's film 1492, Conquest of Paradise. It was the lead single, and it's his highest stream song on Spotify. That says a lot. Excited for it. It hit number one in Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. Very impressive. It's been covered by many artists and used at sporting events and in TV and film. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go.
Wow, just as big and dramatic as I was expecting. Uh, right away we get these sailing vibes, kind of like rowing vibes. I know it's probably a big ship that they're sailing on. Haven't seen the movie, but you know, instantly I'm transported in my mind. Um, there was much determination in those choir melodies. Really like that. Really deep, dramatic, and urgent. I love those repeating deep notes, just this big boom over and over throughout the song, you know, going through my core, um, achieved by, I'm sure, some bass drums, and it didn't sound like a timpani, but some kind of drums and probably a double bass, really, really nice. Uh, definitely some Spanish elements in the main melody. I love that chord progression. I know this is about Columbus and Spain, I'm guessing, so that makes total sense. I really like how the instrumental verses were kind of all in minor chords for the most part, and then the instrumental choruses were in grand major chords. I love that contrast. Uh, usually there's peaks and valleys in the songs I hear, but usually they're in the instrumentation. Here the steady peaks and valleys were more in the uh, chords and the moods back and forth. Lighter, happier, triumphant, darker, urgent, dramatic, back and forth, loved it. Such a full, rich, and dramatic sound going on around me throughout the song. Uh, later on, I love that big, booming brass sound. Really, really nice. Really striking. Really impactful. Vangelis' music is always evocative and always transports me somewhere beautiful or interesting or both. That's what I love about him. You never know where you're going to go. For some reason, this song kind of reminded me of the first song of the uh, musical Les Mis. Not too familiar with the song. I don't know it by heart, but it just evoked that image when they're also sailing, rowing, I believe. And uh, maybe it sounds similar, maybe not, but I just thought of that. The ending was quite surprising. Everything calmed down. We got some soft, quiet music for just a few seconds, and then it led right into Monastery of La Rabida. So don't know what that's about, but I have a feeling this whole album is amazing. It's Vangelis. Why even question it? Amazing, amazing, evocative, beautiful, gorgeous. I could go on and on. I'm giving this one five golden records for Conquest of Paradise by Vangelis, 1992. Thank you so much to the English Chamber Choir for those beautiful, powerful vocals. Uh, the choir conductor, Guy Prothero, and of course, Vangelis for composing and arranging such a beautiful song. All right, now let's move on to Song of the Seas from the album Oceanic. Uh, it's the one single from the album, and this was his first album uh, nominated for a Grammy in the Best New Age Album category. Really nice. It includes effects that mimic whales, ships, porpoises, seagulls, and ocean waves. I think I'm in love with the album already. Here we go.
Wow, so we start with a combination of ocean wave sounds, these chimes, and this really nice wind instrument. Not sure exactly what it was, probably on the keyboard. With those three things, I'm sold instantly. And then they add this thick, tasty bass. I really enjoyed the tone in this one. Um, there was some nice light percussion sounds throughout the song to complement that bass, to contrast that bass. Did I even hear castanets? That's kind of what it sounded like. I'm not 100% sure, but really loved everything he delivered here. And as I'm sure is the case with most of his songs, there's much film soundtrack potential in this one. I don't think it was ever used in a film, but I think I read that it was used in a TV documentary about oceans or something to that effect. Makes sense. I hope they use this song in that program. The acoustic guitar was so strong, so beautiful. I love the melodies. It was dominating the song, especially in the first part, and it had some amazing reverb on it. Really nice. Uh, we even get another harp in this one. I think 28th Parallel had a harp. Uh, it was sweeping up just at the right moments in the song. Perfection. As I said before in the last song, this one was also so evocative. So many images and feelings came into my mind. Um, I got swimming vibes, you know, or maybe laying in a small a rowboat, just soaking in all of nature with my eyes closed. Really nice. Uh, everything was so relaxing. Again, I'm being transported for the entirety of the song. My mind was just floating, drifting, uh, seeing swirls of color, seeing various sea life. Just a lot going on in my mind, and all this delivered with his beautiful uh, instrumentation and arrangement. I really love that last minute or so. Everything dropped out except some keyboard sounds, and the ocean sounds come back. I heard seagulls, I heard waves, uh, probably more. It was just amazing. Then everything just fades to black slowly as our spirit dives deep into the depths of the ocean with those gorgeous underwater churning sounds. Just perfection. A great way to end the song and a great way to end this album. I love this one as well. I think I'm going to love all his songs. I'm giving this one five golden records, an A slash A plus for Song of the Seas by Vangelis, 1996. Thank you so much, Vangelis, for giving us so much in your amazing life. Such a huge discography. So much that I have to discover. Really excited for this long journey. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about these two songs. I would love to know your opinions. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.